Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Batts. I'm director, star director, for I have to get used to saying that, uh, of Team Movers and Shakers. And I want to show you how to create a Google form so that you can collect um, people's information and mail them samples every month. When you get your set of the month kit, you can post this on Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, wherever. And um, it's just a quick link that people can go to. So I'm going to start from scratch. I am using the Chrome browser, which is the friendliest browser for um, Google. And so I'm going to just go to share screen so you can see what I'm doing. So in Google, in the upper right corner, my face might be there, but there's this little like square grid. You're going to click on that and that's going to open up all of these apps and you're basically going to click even more from Google because um, it's not popping up and my internet's kind of slow right now and you're going to find Google Forms. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, so home and office, there's docs, there's slides, forms is what you want. So you go to Google Forms and this is super easy y'all. Uh, you can start right now right and the cool thing about Chrome and Google is that it's basically saving it as you type it so if your browser crashes or if you squirrel and walk away because the kids are crying or whatever it'll be right here so we can call this September I already have one need for August so September scent of the month samples which have you seen what the September sign of the month is it's gonna be awesome um, and then you can in the description here notice on the top left it says saving it's literally saving it to internet world as I'm typing it in and you probably need to be signed into your Gmail or Google account as you're doing this um, sign up for my free monthly set of the month mailings right something like that then you come here to the question and it's I just clicked that little like grid thing and you can choose what you want it to be. Um, short answer is probably easiest. Uh, if you make a short answer, you can be something like uh, name. Okay. And then we can add another one. Click here. Why is this being weird? Oh, click here. Sorry. We add another one. And another short answer. This is going to be email. The other thing you can do is you can make this required. You have to have their email address, right? Um, you add another one, and again, make it short answer, and you're gonna want their mailing address. So in other words, they can't submit this form unless they um, make these things required, or fill out these required forms. You wanna put their phone number in here, phone number. You know, maybe you don't have that. Uh, required. So then we'll say uh, if by providing me with your information you are allowing me to send you via mail and email my personal specials as well as monthly samples, something like that, right? Or you could say by, you know, by providing me with your email, I'm automatically subscribing you to my newsletter or whatever. So this could be multiple choice. Option one is going to be I agree. This one can be I no thank you. Right, well, I mean, why would someone give you their information if they don't want free stuff? Anyways, so you just keep going, right? Whatever you want. Whatever you want to add in there. Uh, I am, are you interested in hosting a party to earn free and half off Cincy products? Option one. Yes, please send me some information. Or, no, thank you. Are you interested in joining a 
fun, supportive network of people to help you grow your own business. Yes, please send me more information. No thing. And then, um, you know, and you can make these required also, right? You can go back and you can edit them, um, making them required. You can add pictures, you can add video. There's lots of things you can do. So once you're done, do, 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 then you can come up here to send. And look at this. You can email it to people, or what I do is I copy this link. I'll shorten the URL. I'll copy and paste that bad boy right into my Facebook post or wherever. Um, and people can click, can click on it and fill out the form. And then you go here to responses and it shows you who has responded. So it's super easy and it's highly effective in um, collecting people's information and allowing you to grow your network and um, getting those great smelling samples into people's hands. All right, I hope this video helped you. Have an awesome day. Bye.